This video demonstrates Oxygen's ability to connect to a repository located on a SharePoint server and how you can use SharePoint-specific actions when editing topics in a data map. Note that this feature is available only in the Enterprise Edition of Oxygen XML. We start with the creation of a SharePoint connection in Oxygen. First, we'll need to switch to Database Perspective, which displays the Data Source Explorer view. We'll use this button to open the Oxygen's Options dialog. Now, we'll just use an out-of-the-box SharePoint data source and input the connection details. We name the connection to be able to easily identify it later on in the Data Source Explorer view. The URL points to the repository where your project is stored. Now, we need to specify the Microsoft Windows domain of the SharePoint server in the domain field. Then, you have to input your username and password. Now, press OK to save the connection. Now the connection is available in the Data Source Explorer view. In our test repository, we have a data project sample. Note that one of the files has a small green overlaid icon, meaning that it is already checked out by another user. Hover the caret over that resource to see who is the lock owner. To avoid conflicts while editing a resource, it is recommended to check out the document first. This means that only you can update that resource until you decide to check it in. To check out a resource, use the Checkout Contextual menu action in the Data Source Explorer view. Again, checked out files are easy to spot due to the small green decorator icon. In our example, we'll edit one of the topics and make a small addition to the content. The Data Maps Manager view provides a set of SharePoint specific actions. We check out the repairing the phone topic and we'll add a new step to the procedure. Our data map already contains a task describing the battery removal process, so we'll add a link to that procedure at step 1. Now we'll select some text and press Enter to activate the Content Completion Assistant. Then choose the XREF element. Note that we intentionally misspelled the link. A data map checked out from a SharePoint server benefits from the usual data specific actions like validation and check for completeness or apply transformation scenarios. After editing a data topic, it is good practice to check that the entire data map is complete and valid. So we invoke the validate and check for completeness action on the entire data map and it immediately reports a broken link. Click the error and we see that we misspelled the link to the battery removal procedure. We'll fix that and run the validate and check for completeness action again. Now we can apply an out-of-the-box transformation scenario to see how the PDF output looks like. Click Configure Transformation Scenario in the toolbar, choose the default data to PDF scenario, then apply that scenario. We are happy with the result, so it's time to check in the document. This means that after the check-in is performed, other users can see the changes we made to the document. Oxygen XML displays a dialog box asking for the following details. Check-in type, which specifies how the changes made to the document reflect in the document's history. Thus, you can decide how the version number of the document will be updated on the SharePoint server. You have three choices, to increment the minor version, to increment the major version, or to override the current version of the document. In addition to this, you may insert a brief comment describing the modifications you made to the document. We choose to increment the minor version 
since we've made only a small modification of the document's content. Besides the check-in and check-out options, there is a third SharePoint-specific action called Discard Checkout. This can be useful if you accidentally checked out a wrong document and you want to unlock it for the other users to access it. In our case, we can discard the checkout on the data map since we only modified one of the topics, not the data map file itself. Click the Discard Checkout button instead of checking in the document. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.